All right, gamers. Well, hopefully notifications go out, but it is YouTube, so probably not. I gotta sell these. Um, I'll give it a little bit for what little notifications to go out, hopefully go out. Uh, but otherwise, we're gonna be unboxing a full stack of Chaos Chests because I need the space. <laughs> I'm running out. Also, Chaos Cores this week, and I'm running low on Chaos Cores, so hey. This is the goal. Let me go and buy a Celestial Key while I can or whatever. Hey guys! <laughs> Why? Because I need the slot in my personal chest, and again, it's Chaos Cores, and I'm... I say I'm running low, not really, but... Enough that I need to grab some. Ew. Look at that. Look how expensive these are now. Ridiculous. Yeah, I did play um, RE4 yesterday, multi. I'm going to put that stream up soon. Uh, I do have super hot in VR. I don't know whether or not I covered it though. That game is really difficult. It's intense. <laughs> because, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, spooky. Ah, uh, that's funny. It's not worth it. Not worth it opening a full stack of chaos chests. Oh, because it's not as cost-effective? <laughs> you think I care about being cost-effective? <laughs> Bruh. No, I'm opening a full stack, no question. I gotta clear up my bank, that's the point. Okay, I wanna see, how many Chaos Cores do I have first of all? Because I wanna see how many we end up getting out of this. Uh, what tab are Chaos Cores even under, dude? Uh, it's been, it's been a while. So, I don't remember. Also, these items are microscopic. There we go. 591. Gotta write that down because as we end up breaking things and getting them unboxed as well. Where's the, where's the, I want the thing that allows me to just trigger karma. All right, let's just do 35 and then, hey, here we go. Oh, okay, Spooky. Thank you. Wait, why didn't it? Oh, there we go. All right, let's get this show on the road, boys. I'm not gonna just click, 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 spam, click it, because honestly, we're trying to, uh, we're gonna try and go through this as a journey. This is so that you can all enjoy me unboxing everything. The thing is, I don't wanna get carpal tunnel. Now, I've already had, oh, that's really rare. I've already had plenty of videos of unboxing stuff in the past. I didn't feel like doing that today. I wanted to do it as a stream just because this way I get to actually like interact and hang with you guys for a bit because otherwise I would just be unboxing this all by myself and trying to come up with interesting things to talk about. And on top of all of that, let's be real here. There is nothing I can get out of the chaos chest that would get me even slightly excited. <laughs> Uh, I should probably start opening Trove of Wonders, right? Oh my god. That's a really rare one, too. We got really lucky. But yeah, thanks, Spooky. <clears throat> this reminds me of the past. Yes, me too. Open Troves of Wonder next time. No. <laughs> How about... I'll open Troves of Wonder if you guys start bankrolling my videos, because... Credit pouches cost a lot of real money to sell to get flux. <laughs> We're getting quite a few of these though, so hey, it's gonna be worth it. What the heck is that? Ew, gross. I mean, even so, like, out of Troves of Wonder, there's not really anything interesting in there as well, right? Oh, right, I forgot about that mount. No, there's nothing tradable out of Chaos Chess anymore, unfortunately. It's just kind of, like, I, I genuinely question why the developers decided on making everything untradeable with Chaos Chest because it really ended up hurting the game's economy and just the game in general. But on top of all of that, I think that the developers seem to constantly forget that this is an 
online game and not a single player game. So, yeah. Is something about to happen? PlayStation credits rose a lot. Maybe you guys are getting the uh, Gunslinger update soon. But anyways, the thing that I hate about Chaos Chest items being untradeable is it means that in order for a player to get every item out of the Chaos Chest, you have to do it 100% yourself. You can't have any help. Granted, you could end up um, getting the resources to craft the items, but you still need Chaos Cores, which means you still gotta get Chaos Chest. Just imagine, imagine someone actually like buying Chaos Chest, because that would be funny. You know there's probably like one person Oh, is there a new pack in the store? Oh, there you go. That's why credit pouches went up in price. Okay. I didn't even know that was there. That's kind of weird, but I'll do another video that'll talk about that. Oh, hey, look, we got the water bird. Not chunky version. A shark, a sub, a couple really cursed but cool looking costumes. Yeah, thanks for letting me know about that, Multi. I'll, I'll do a video on that. Wait, what? Bit of a late night stream tonight. Is it tonight for you? Because for me, it's only like 5 p.m., my dude. Unless you're asking if I'm going to stream tonight, in which case, I hope so. I hope so. I've been uh, I've been really, really busy. Um, I've talked about this before, but essentially I've been trying to stock up on videos so that uh, when I'm gone for my trip, you guys can still get regular content. I did finish recording all of the 45K series. I still have to edit it, but I did finish recording all of it, as well as a couple other little surprises. Wait, why is it still going? I didn't click all. What? I must have just clicked. Oh, I clicked near it, and the hitbox just went for it. <laughs> Weird. Can you stop? Stop that. This game is broken, lol. Oh, it's 9 p.m. for you? 3 a.m. for you guys. Hey, MVD. Yeah, um, I'm hoping that I can stream more Resident Evil tonight, obviously. Whoops, I calculated that completely wrong. Oh, Till Karma is on the right, that's why. But I also really want to, uh, th there's a couple other special games that I'm hoping to play on the channel, <clears throat> namely Roblox. I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of a spoily, but um, what, what's that one game that everyone's been yelling at me about? The Arcane Odyssey? I may or may not have started recording that. It's pretty fun, actually. I was quite surprised. But there's a couple other Roblox games that I want to start doing on the channel again as well. Yeah, I do have some more Diablo 4 videos. Um, I'm going to put out a video talking about the Druid and Necromancer. Unfortunately, like an idiot, I didn't get footage of my Necromancer, so I'm gonna have to use my live stream footage. I totally thought I recorded some, but I guess not. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to Diablo 4, and if you guys didn't already see the Zelda trailer, dear lord. Game of the year, dude. Like, I, I was not excited for Zelda, I'll admit, but now I am. But I've got another video that's gonna talk about, like, what's going to happen while I'm away and when I get back, because essentially we're going to end up having two different games come out at the same time. Wow, this is going to take a while. <laughs> it's really going to take a while. Ooh, this freak's got the, the god tier wings. Nice. Those are the rarest wings in the entire game. Don't they look great? No, they look disgusting. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people complain about the druid, Manuel. Yeah. Um, I didn't really notice, like, I, he seemed pretty good for me based on the build that I was using. Lightning. Lightning was super OP. And I think that a lot of people seem to really, like, I think it's silly that people are saying, oh, the druid's too weak, the druid needs a buff, when it's like, no, we're not even at the end game, we're literally at level 25, the druid is about status effects, like... <laughs> People are just so crazy on the internet now where they're like, oh my god, this class is so weak. And it's like, it's the early game. What are you talking about? Wait till they're at the end game and then tell me if it's broken. <laughs> you know? 
Because that's the whole thing, is my experience with Diablo is, no, the Druid starts out pretty weak, and end game it ends up god tier. Necromancer starts out god tier and ends out pretty weak. So, I'm really worried about, uh, I'm more so worried about the end game. I want to see how did they balance it. Can I basically, like, use whatever build that I want at the end game, or is it going to be like Diablo 3, where I'm forced into using very specific builds? Oh, you love the rogue? Yeah, nice. Uh, there was another buddy of mine who I kept telling him, dude, Rogue's gonna be your favorite. And he was like, I don't know if I'm feeling it. And then the more he played, he was like, I love it. Speak of the devil. Hey, Kerbo. <laughs> uh, I pre-decided before the launch even came out that I'm going to main Rogue and I'm happy with that decision. Yes, Rogue is, uh, Rogue's pretty, pretty fun. In my limited experience with the classes, uh, Barb's still one of my least favorite. Just personal preference. But the rogue was really, really fast paced and I really, really enjoyed her gameplay. If I was playing a melee character, I would go with that. Otherwise, my favorite classes are still uh, Necromancer, Sorcerer, and Druid. Druid, I feel, is not as cool as he was in Diablo 2. Although I do appreciate the fact that we literally have a werewolf class. Uh, Trove, I want you to have a werewolf class, please. Like, legit. Oh, and these wings, by the way, are, um, <laughs> as you can see, they are the uh, copy and paste version of the rarest wings in the game. Because devs can't help themselves. Oh, is that you, one and only? So you've already, you got everything? I didn't know that. It's nuts. Yeah, Kerbo, we were just talking about it before you came in, man. It's too early game for people to be knocking on the Druid, man. Because in Diablo 2, Druid sucked at the early game and then ended up being really powerful later on. Your hair color in the game changes the color of the werewolf's hair? Oh my god, that's such a nice, cool little detail. I didn't know. That's so cool. I just want... I just hope they don't patch out the glitch that my buddy Magic had, where... He still had the uh, body of the werebear, but he had the texture of being human. And it looked amazing. Is there actually no way to buy the bard without the pack? Yup. Get screwed. Basically the only way. Um, you can craft the class, but it requires a lot of bardium and other resources. It's honestly going to be cheaper and more cost effective for you to just buy the credits and buy the pack. <clears throat> oh, I didn't have an awful time on the beta with the druid. I found him to be quite powerful. I just didn't find most of his spells fun. Because I was pretty much just stuck using lightning. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> what, Emerald Shield? Will you make a Mario 64 call-out video using Kaze's hack? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I'm pretty out of the loop with all the Mario co-op stuff. Because, frankly speaking... My brother's not around anymore. He's doing his own life and uh, is not really a gamer. So, unfortunately, the only time I can do that co-op stuff is if it's online, because then I can do it with some of my buddies in Discord. The next Mario series is, um, weird, is um, Mario Odyssey has a co-op mod, and I want to play through that with my buddies. But uh, we've all been too busy. It's kind of a very low priority for me, but spoilies, it's it's on the list. What the? Oh, ally. Weird. Yep, Japan. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, they need to make a Shava appear more in the real game. So here's the thing. I know that it's kind of stupid, and I was thinking about that too, Johnny, but there's going to be more than one world boss. So they're probably all set to spawn at different times and different days and stuff. Like, it's way too early for us to end up having any complaints about Diablo when I loved it, no question. I had a lot of fun with it, and that was only the early game. So that game's gonna go big mode later on. Ooh, that'll be worth a lot. For loot collecting. Wait, I got the aura. Ah, yes. Cool. Oh, I got Whispers of Chaos somewhere in my inventory as well, actually. 
Too bad none of it's tradable. <laughs> I wish, man. <laughs> um, there's a split screen hat for Mario 64. Fun fact. It's almost 10 years old. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, um, we... I do remember the split screen mod. We didn't, we chose not to use that because it made for a worse video. Split screen's kind of, eh, I don't know. It's not my favorite thing. Asmongold had a ton created about Diablo. Yeah, Asmongold's an idiot though. He's literally just doing clickbait. He's critiquing like, oh, the sorcerer is too powerful with the Hydra build. It's like, bro, you're level 25. And my Necromancer outdamaged my Sorcerer easy. You want to know why? Because I had better drops. Like... Sorry. I shouldn't say, oh, he's an idiot. But he's a content creator first, man. Like, that guy's got clickbait way... He He's so extreme, you know? I, I'm not I'm not into his content. I'm sorry. I'm really not. He's, he's, he's a big content creator who unfortunately has a big community behind him that doesn't criticize him. Even the fact that he was talking about his sorcerer being so powerful when his fans literally gave him god tier gear. Like, grind it yourself, bro. Anyways, we need to see about the end game. The, the, most, the big thing that I'm concerned about with Diablo 4 is how are they going to handle the end game? Is it going to end up just being rifts and all that crap? Because I'm not looking forward to that. Now, maybe that's what you're talking about, Spooky, because I don't watch Asmund, so I I only know, like, his clickbait videos. I'll be, I'll be frank. Like, all I saw from him more recently was him making fun of how powerful the Sorcerer was versus, like, the Barbarian at level 25 when, like, we're not even max level. <laughs> so, maybe you're talking about something where he went into more detail about, like, his critiques towards the game and stuff, because he does, he does have some good points. But again, I don't watch him as a content creator. I'm not interested. Hot take, Mario Advance 2 is better than the SNES remake. Super, wait, what? Dude, you're you're like a time capsule, Emerald Shield. You suddenly just show up with all this Mario knowledge and I'm just sitting here like so out of the loop. I tried checking, um, what what's his name? The, the, the... The guy who made the original co-op mod. I was trying to check out like if he made his Star Road mod and stuff. Apparently, I don't think he did. And he started making like weird clickbait modded Mario videos instead of working on mods. Because I guess money. So. It was really, really tough to track down what's going on with the Mario modding community. Because otherwise, I, I was kind of getting a craving to play through the Mario games and stuff again. But. <sighs> yeah, I'm curious about PvP. Uh, as far as I know, this is just based on what I saw in the game, right? Um, as far as I know, there is toggled PvP similar to the classic Diablo games. And I think if you have PvP on, you can just fight people out in the overworld. Because... There was a little button that I pressed and it said, oh, you can't toggle PvP on. And if you want to fight other people, they got to have PvP on as well or something. I, I don't know the full details of it because we didn't have it in the beta, but open world PvP could be pretty exciting for a lot of people. Harkens back to the good old days, right? I, I'm not looking forward to that. I don't care about Diablo PvP, but... <laughs> yes, Kerbo, I do want the Chaos Mega Cores. What I don't want is all this other crap. Because I'm just going for Chaos Mega Cores. That's why I'm doing uh, the unboxing this week. I was waiting for it. <clears throat> yeah, anyways, as far as Diablo is concerned, guys, like, I love Diablo and I'm not, I'm not a meta slave. I don't really care. I, my, my question is, is it fun? In which case, yes. Yes, it was. It was a lot of fun. I really like what they did with the Necromancer. It actually feels like a solid functional class instead of Diablo 3's broken mess. And I'm really looking forward to playing it with you guys. I'm not worried about maxing out all the end game crap because I mean, let's be real, it's just based on what RNG drops for you. 
And all of these criticisms, again, are during a beta. Like, the full game is coming out. And, and, more important than any of that, Zelda comes out before Diablo. And so that's going to eat up all of my time. <laughs> Seriously, dude, I was not excited for Zelda at all. I'll be real with you. But after seeing that more recent gameplay showcase, it was like, oh, I understand now. My eyes can see. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like it if we got Diablo 4 DLC uh, classes, because I know that a lot of people really want the monk back. Uh, Demon Hunter, I feel, got replaced by Rogue, basically. Oh yeah, I'll be back from my trip before Zelda. I specifically, like, we specifically set up our trip so that we would be back before Zelda. Uh, when I get back from my trip, it's going to be like April 22nd or something. It, it, basically, I'm going to get back and Minecraft Legends and Dead Island 2 will have released. So I'm going to start playing those right away. And then the week after that is already Jedi Survive. But I'm going to talk about all of that in another video that I have recorded already that talks about like the plan with the channel, because frankly speaking, there are too many good games coming out and I don't know if I'll be able to cover all of them day one. I'll go into more detail in that other video, but the short answer is that I'm going to focus on delivering the content that I want rather than just rushing out videos because of the stupid algorithm, you know? So I'll probably just be playing each of those games like each different day of the week rather than trying to get through it all in one sitting and that usual crap, you know. <clears throat> 23 hour stream of a guy's cat. Dang, dude, he doesn't even have to work for a living. He just puts a camera on his cat. Honestly, I should do that with the doggos. Are you getting anything tradable from there? Nope, 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 nope. Chaos Chest items are no longer tradable. They haven't been tradable for years. It's really dumb. <laughs> but I'm doing it for the Chaos Cores, man. Gotta get the Benjamins. Uh, I need Chaos Cores because I've been slowly, uh, I've been slowly losing out on my uh, Chaos Cores because I keep buying stuff from Corexian and Junk. Hey, Corey. Also, hi, everybody else. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello. Just going on my tangents about all these other games. Fun fact, Luigi's Mansion was going to be split screen. With a mod, you mean, or the original? Because I don't think it had multiplayer, but... I, man, I didn't even beat Luigi's Mansion 3. That one sucked, though. I'm gonna be real, I did not like that game. Like, I... So I had, like, a Luigi's Mansion series on the channel for a little bit, and then I didn't enjoy it, and so I started to just play it myself with my wife. We do not like that game. I don't like Gooigi. Like, they put him as, like, the main gimmick of the game, and it was too annoying. Like, can I just have the good old days? I never played the Dark Moon, because I never owned any handheld consoles. The only handheld console I think we owned was, like, the... Like, the Game Boy Advance or something, because you had to own... <laughs> Get this. You had to own a Game Boy Advance and use it as a controller on the GameCube to play both Four Swords and Crystal Chronicles. Which, my god. Those were great games, but what a stupid gimmick. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, I already marked uh, how many Chaos Cores I had at the start, Brandon, so we'll be able to... Uh, We'll be able to calculate and figure out how many I ended up getting. We're actually getting a lot of super style stashes. I'm surprised. Kind of neat. Spooky is a duck, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Wow, you got more chaos chests. I bet you're excited. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm just as excited for these new chaos chesses as I am for Zelda. <laughs> It is fun. I That's the thing. I wanted to do this on live stream so that I could just chill with you guys and we could just rant about stuff. Because otherwise I would just be sitting here and what? I would unbox this for like over 40 minutes and then I would just cut it down to like a five second video. All right, I got nothing I wanted. Give me a chaos core, right? JK, those don't exist. Ever thought about playing Minecraft Pixelmon? No. 
I so I watch vintage beef every now and then and he has a pretty lengthy uh, Minecraft Pixelmon series and I already know that that is not a game for me. I like watching him play it, but I don't like playing that type of game myself. Oh, potato. Oh my god. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it outright, dude. I what I didn't get it. I was not hyped for Zelda 2. I thought it's just more of the same. I am a believer now. That new trailer for Zelda was absolutely insane. Game of the year, no question. Like they Nintendo did it again. Watch it. It will make you a believer too. Like absolutely insane, dude. I can't believe what Nintendo did. I'm so sorry for doubting. <laughs> Hey, Tyrant. Yeah, look. Hey, you're right. Gacha Chaos Chess? Bruh, we're basically playing Genshin right now and getting nothing out of it. Oh my god. It's really like playing Genshin. <laughs> oh no, dude. Forget the rock on the stick. You get a stick on a stick. <laughs> the, the extra long spear. That was when I lost it, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so they, they show at the end of the Zelda gameplay, they show like an OLED switch that's all Zelda themed. But I'm, I'm gonna be real, like, just show me the Switch Pro. I will buy it, no question. Unfortunately, based on the leaks, well, the rumors, let's say, the um, Switch Pro is probably going to be coming out around Pokemon release, which is later in the year, rather than uh, rather than Zelda. So we'll probably be long done with Zelda before uh, the Switch Pro comes out. But it'll be a nice excuse to replay through Zelda. I say, even though I'm probably going to have that series very regular for a long, long time. It just looks so fun. The spear hit the top of the tree. No, dude, legit. Like that... I lost it when I saw that. It was so funny. The fact that you can like, so basically for those of you that didn't watch it, because it's basically just me gushing about Nintendo the whole time. Um, basically in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, they made it so that you can combine any weapon with any other weapon. And if that wasn't enough, you can combine every weapon with every single enemy drop and material in the game. And it all has different functionality. So you can combine an ice jelly to your arrows to make ice arrows. But more so than that, you can combine your arrows with a keys eyeball. So a keys is a bat and it homes in on you. That's just what the enemy does. And it literally gives you homing arrows. <laughs> So freaking cool. All right, I gotta loot collect a bunch of this crap now. Oh God, they start out sweet. I gotta open all of these myself. So this ally is actually a really rare commodity, but it doesn't matter because none of this is tradable. Hey, Tago. Yeah, yeah, the big thing that they showed was just a stick with a rock and then they put a spear on a spear and it just, it looks so freaking cool and fun. Yeah, that's true actually, because it seemed like, yeah, because you could have low durability on something. Is this tradable? Are these ores tradable? You could have low durability on something and then exactly, you could just uh, combine it with something in the environment and it seemed to repair it, which is really cool. Oh my God, when did I get all those? Whoops, uh, okay, I gotta be careful. I'm breaking things that I shouldn't be breaking. Imagine breaking these, whoops. I'm, why are these all uncategorized? This is hurting me. This is really hurting me. There's some good items out of this, but... Make a mech walker. Wait, there was a... There was a dread reskin in the chaos chest? Bruh, I don't even remember half of these. There's too many things in the chaos chest. Let's be real here. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Okay. So far, so good. I'm being very cautious here because I don't want to uh, 
accidentally break the wrong stuff. Is this from Chaos Chess? No, it's not. Neither is Tiny. No, Tiny Tim is. For some reason, he doesn't drop from, well, you know. Okay, well, hopefully that did it. I'm good. Um, no, this is Chaos Chess. Okay. And the Whispers is not tradable. Sweet. Oh my god, we got a lot of Chaos Cores, though. Okay, um, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Yep, yep, I heard about that too, Emerald, about, um, the Twilight Princess. I did not like Twilight Princess. I will admit that was my least favorite Zelda game. I know lots of other people really liked it, but, well, that and Skyward Sword, I didn't like either of those. Can't wait to throw two throwing spears. No, dude, just get... Now, here's the thing. Can we combine and then combine again? Because otherwise, just get a throwing spear and put the uh, homing keys on it. <laughs> and there you go. Also, yeah, hello, guys. I'm sorry. I was busy loot collecting stuff. Hey, Addy. Yes, I know. I need to clean everything out. My inventory is, like, so all over the place. I, I know. I really know. I feel it more than you do. <laughs> Every stream you deal with the clutter. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I The thing is, I keep all of these stupid, like, these dumb fishing things. I need to do, like, hours and hours and hours of fishing to get rid of these. I was stocking up on them because it was like, oh, they're daily. And then it's like, oh, they just stay in my inventory clogging everything. On top of that, I got some event mounts and junk that I just can't fit in my personal chest. So... Yeah, we didn't get to play Diablo together, Addy, but I'm glad that you enjoyed the barb. He seemed like a lot of fun, even though I didn't get to uh, play him past level 10. I like watching SS. Wait, which one's SS, Turbo? That Roblox game? <laughs> They need to make a Zelda game where you play a Zelda. They did. Nobody liked it. Oh, Skyward Sword. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, to be fair, I did enjoy watching Joe's series of Skyward Sword, but it's not a game that I enjoy. Also, yes, Sneak, if you get um, if you get the skill tree in Trove, you don't need a mount anymore because you get over mount movement speed. Pretty funny. Dude, I would love it if they gave us an extra slot for storage. The thing is, there is community clubs in the game. Uh, I do have one for storage, but the problem is that because technically you can have more than one person in those clubs, it doesn't let you put untradeable items in those chests. Kind of sucks. I mean, well, the thing, Addy, is that I was just basically... I was only able to play like a limited amount of times during the open beta, but we'll add each other when the full game comes out anyway, so it's all good. They need to make Zelda on consoles. Oh, it is on consoles. Well, it's on a tablet. Apparently, um, as the rumor, you know, boils over, as it were, the uh, Switch Pro is going to use DLSS, which totally makes sense because of the NVIDIA chipset. And that's a way that they could make the games upscaled and look good without impacting performance. So, hopefully, I, I'm just waiting for them to announce it and I'm going to pre-order it immediately. Like, I love Nintendo. I want just, I want to give them my money. Hey, Ash. I want Zelda on my phone. I mean, if you got a strong enough phone, you probably could. <clears throat> No, you probably got kicked out of Team Pixel for inactivity sneak. It happens. We clear out old names and stuff. Oh, we also keep forgetting too, by the way, guys, that the new Spider-Man game comes out this year. And uh, apparently rumors are it's going to be coming out around September because that's when they're going to be really pushing their media. I don't, I'm not super hyped about it because I haven't seen anything on it. I mean, I know Venom is my favorite Marvel character, so obviously I'm going to play the heck out of that game, but I really hope it's going to have co-op. The fact that they got Miles and Peter both in the same universe, unless they use it to kill Peter. Shh. You've seen Spider-Verse, right? Oh, 
sure. Thanks, Spooky. Yeah, Taco's here too. So if you guys want club invites, they can invite you. Just leave your username and make sure you're online. I think I've been skipping your name when kicking Kirby. Ah, yes. No, just keep kicking him. <laughs> oh, hey, Magic. Yeah, co-op would be a no-brainer for me with Zelda. Or, <laughs> Spider-Man. But, I mean, the volume got turned down on pretty much everything now that they showed Zelda's actual big brain gameplay. Firetruck Mobile PC makes the money. I don't know what that is. You guys heard a raid? Oh, uh, side note. Uh, I know that nobody asked, but you remember that video I made a couple days ago about Ronin Trail? So it turns out that the dude actually has other uh, beta builds that I can't get access to because he only gives them out to people that supported the Kickstarter. But I didn't know that the Kickstarter even existed until recently and it was already done. Otherwise, I would have gladly bought my way into that. <laughs> I was trying to, I basically was trying to reach out to him and say like, hey man, can you hook me up? And uh, he, he basically has no social presence at all. Oh yeah, and darker, darker, or dark and darker. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard what's going on with that, but everyone's in a big stew about, oh, Nexon, big corporation bullying an indie team when it's like, like don't, like, don't get me wrong, that Dark and Darker game, yeah, it's basically like their own idea and Nexon is just salty that they didn't capitalize on the idea. As far as I'm concerned, it's their fault entirely. But at the same time, if they are even pushing a legal battle, they're probably guilty. Like, let's be real here, everyone's trying to defend the indie team because, oh, they're, they're like me, they're relatable, they're a small company, when it's like, but they stole assets. <laughs> That's what they're being accused of. Like, forget Dark and Darker. What about what was that era game that came out more recently and literally used Elden Ring animation sets? And they're like, we didn't steal those. And then the game just got removed instantly. But the real bottom line, guys, is if you haven't seen it on Steam, never mind Elden Ring. Go and wait for Elden Bling. I'm not kidding, that's actually a game. Keep in mind, uh, adults only should check that out, but it lo just looks hilarious. I don't think I'll be able to cover that game just because it would get me coffee striked. We don't, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, Atticus. We don't know if they ended up stealing assets or not because the thing is, the argument that they're saying is that the, um, the argument that they're saying is that they bought items off of the Epic Store. But Epic Store items can literally be modded items that are from other games. That's why there was another game, I don't remember what the name was, but there was a, a game that came out more recently, like it fully released, and it literally had Elden Ring assets. And the reason for that is because they bought them on the Epic Store, because a modder put those onto the Epic Store, they bought them and said, well, we own these now, right? And my, my argument is just, we don't know what's happening. If if Nexon ends up winning the legal battle, then it means that they were right and everyone defending Dark and Darker was wrong. Or maybe Nexon is just bullying a small time company, which I wouldn't be surprised, but I just find it really, really funny how everyone just instantly jumps on the bandwagon of, you know, defending this little indie team versus the evil corporation when it's like, yes, but, we're talking about legal here. <laughs> There's obviously something there because otherwise, like, why would they bother even claiming it? And at the very least, I mean, uh, hopefully Nexon will pay for the damages, but they probably won't. I think that's what everyone's really pissed about. Anyways, who cares? Bottom line. That's the real, that's the real end of it all. It's just the big thing in the news right now, but everyone's going to forget about it in a week, just like Stray. <clears throat> I think I think the main argument that I would say towards the dark and darker thing is that I I think that I think it's an unfair legal battle because the fact that Nexon can basically just keep throwing money at it but that's a problem with the legal system in general that's got nothing to do with uh, this whole situation 
right? Yeah, we. that's the thing, though. What I'm saying is we don't know any of this stuff. I know exactly what the situation is, Addy. I know what Nexon is claiming, and I know that the what the devs are arguing, but I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm the type of person where I kind of lean on the middle of the fence and don't really pick a side. I try to look at it objectively. And at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> like, it sucks for them, it does, but at the end of the day... Like, you want to... Okay, I'm going to be real here. I know that it sounds like I'm being really insensitive to the Darker and Darker team because they're just a small indie team and everything like that, but let's be real. The amount of exposure that their crappy little game is getting out of this whole legal fiasco, like, if they can come out of this and still manage to release the game, even if they just change some of the assets, it's going to pop off, and it was all worthwhile. They're going to end up making tenfold the money that they spend on this legal battle. I never heard of the game until all of this crap started. You want to do a legal battle? Like, if they're going to end up doing something like that, can Nintendo sue Genshin? <laughs> like, seriously, dude. If Nexon's going to be able to claim that... <laughs> But anyways. Yeah, so uh, Tower of Fantasy, apparently, my, my buddy Bobby, who's still addicted to that game, I don't know why, I'm sorry, Bobby. Um, he's basically been mentioning how Tower of Fantasy is really pushing to make the game a little bit more streamlined and open. So they're giving less, like a lot more resin and energy and stuff. I don't care, it's not enough to incite me, uh, excite me about the game, but. We're almost done with the boxes, gamers. 40 minutes later. I don't even know how many we unboxed because we had a full stack, but we keep getting 50 chaos chests here and there. So we're probably at like, well, we're easily over 10,000. That's for sure. But we almost got her done. And then we'll see how many chaos cores we got out of all of this. Yeah, I I really enjoyed Tower of Fantasy's uh, combat at first, but then it didn't have enough depth, you know? Yo, Scythe, I have a question. Why? Because I need Chaos Cores. <laughs> I need Chaos Cores, you layabouts! That's a quote from the Mario live-action movie, which I don't care what anyone says, it's going to be better than the CG one. That's one of my favorite movies. God, I gotta watch it. I haven't watched that movie in years. I need Koopa coins, you layabouts, from a literal, like, s nice, sickly old grandmother who tricks Mario and Luigi into, like, saying that they're not from there so that she can turn them into Bowser. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it takes a long time to unbox these. Generally speaking, I could have disabled sounds and unboxed all of them and just keep tapping the button over and over and it stacks and stacks and stacks and we open them super fast, but I figured this way we get to just enjoy it and have fun. No, I, like, genuinely, I enjoyed Tower of Fantasy. I just felt that it got old really fast. Like, the exploration and even the combat was really good at first but it didn't have any depth on top of it. Oh, is there a new gameplay of Final Fantasy 16? Heck yeah, link that to me, Multi. I'll check it out. Gotta watch the new... Oh yeah, the new Dungeons & Dragons movie. Right, everybody keeps talking about it. Is it any good? I'm not hearing anything about it. I'm hearing everybody talking about John Wick. <laughs> Which apparently they're already talking about making John Wick 5. John Wick's one of the only franchises that just can't quit. It just, it keeps coming out and it's better and better and better. I really want to see it, but I don't know if I could convince Mariko to see it. We have, ah, uh, we haven't seen a movie in a long time. So yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try and see it with her. Although it's probably going to be one of those movies that she'll fall asleep to. I'm not kidding, she'll fall asleep in the theater right next to me. And then I'm just sitting there alone watching a movie. <laughs> um. Oh, they, well, I mean, if they showed off the world of Final Fantasy 16, that's still pretty cool. 
I haven't seen I haven't seen enough about Final Fantasy 16 to get me hyped about it. Like I'm I'm still looking forward to it, obviously. Alrighty. You know what? Let's go to Karma. Just because. I got these I got these extra chests right here. Excuse me? What do you mean not enough slots? Thank you. Why not? Let's do it. There we go. And now I will put these chaos chests back in storage, except I don't even know where they are because my inventory is so cluttered. There we go. Finally, got rid of a full stack. Woo! That took a long time. All right, let's uh, destroy all of these and then we'll see where we're at. That's pretty rare. Generally speaking, oh, that's pretty rare too. We did seem to get the uh, rarer items out of the chaos chest. They're, they're, basically, there's certain items that are always in the chaos chest at all times. It's just they're very rare. Um, but generally speaking, there's not really anything like super interesting out of the chaos chest anymore. Let's be real. Give me chaos coins. Then I'll open all my chaos chests. It's such a shame that they just removed them for some reason. And yet I still kept all of mine. <laughs> Whatever. But we'll see how many we end up getting out of this. We got a lot of allies. All right. So we ended up getting... 420 style stashes, which is pretty crazy. 48 pinatas. I could throw those down. Oh, and then 95 mega chaos cores, which we still haven't opened those either. Okay, so let's see. First and foremost. Oh my god. Okay. Um 1722 minus 591. We got out of just the mounts and allies alone 1131 chaos cores. Beautiful. Pretty bad when you think about the fact that I opened 10k chests, but we're about to go big mode and get like a whole lot more. I'll try and calculate like how many how many we end up getting out of just these alone. Yeah, exactly, Kerbo. The one ally I didn't have for the longest time. Yep. Yeah, I know Atticus. It's it's such a shame. I still think it's like so weird that like he died so young. He had such a great voice. Anyways, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh dear lord, that gave me like another thousand. So, let's see. Two, six, three, two. Um, minus one, one, three, one. So just out of the chaos cores alone, we got 1,501. Literally just doubled the entire thing, beautiful. And then 2632 minus 591. Out of the entirety of all of this, we got, um, that doesn't seem right, really? Yeah, I guess so. We got 2,041 chaos cores. Sweet. <laughs> all right. Well, shadow pin time. This is our celebration for you guys suffering through this with me. And hopefully we actually get something worthwhile out of this. Did you watch the Dungeons and Dragons Ash? I'm I'm just wondering because I haven't like I haven't heard from anybody. Like nobody's actually watched it, so my phone just fell out of my pocket. Interesting. Did we get anything out of that? Doesn't seem like it. I really gotta clean my freaking inventory. Oh, we got two shadow pins. Whatever, who cares? Oh, you did watch it last night. Sorry, I thought you were saying you needed to watch it. Okay, so it's good. All right, sweet. Oh, hey Kev, what's going on, bro? Why am I trading you? I guess, mm, should we give? Oh dear Lord, why? All right. Do you want all the items out of this? Like, are you just having me just unbox these right now? I'll add that to the video. <laughs> Hold on. Um.
There we go. Yeah, you let me know if you want me, uh, like, if you want all these items. Oh, you want me to take them? Okay. Sure. Thanks, man. That's really generous of you. All right. Let's see. Uh, is this 5 mil or 50 mil? I... Wait, how much is this? Yeah, that's five mil. Well, thank you, my dude. We'll at least be able to trigger karma a couple times. Maybe we'll get a Gonda. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, maybe, but I appreciate it, Kev. Mm. Gonda is basically, when you think about it, Gonda is like the gotcha in Genshin. Yeah. I, don't worry, I'm just gonna get a bunch of tank turtles and rainbow freaking <laughs> rainbow wings anyways, right? I wonder how many Trova Wonders it's been since I got Gonda, because I think I only did one other unboxing video and I didn't get a Gonda, so we might be close. Maybe, I don't know. You're gonna give me a Gonda Nomu? Whoa, that's epic. I mean, I guess if we end up getting a Gonda out of this, I could, I'll, I'll do it as a giveaway right here, right now. I don't care. Fort fart. Nobody likes that. Joe needs to have a full chest of rainbow wings, like stacked. But I mean, hey, if we end up getting a Gonda, that'd be pretty uh, cool. No, nah, I'll, I'll do like a proper giveaway. I got to roll it out and be fair to everybody, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, Kev. Appreciate you, man. I could open more Troves of Wonder, actually. I wonder how many I have in my personal chest. I'll double check. But I kind of low-key should be saving these for um, for another video. The, the next live stream of unboxing, anyways, I need to open my adventure boxes. <laughs> I've got too many of them, dude. They're so, uh, they're filling up my chest like crazy. Oh my god, guys, we got the royal turtle. Whoa. Come on, give me Gonda so I can give it away. Just do it. <sighs> oh, so, okay, so the new Scream is out. I was unsure, because Mariko loves those movies. And uh, we were trying to watch it, but like we thought it was released on Netflix, but Netflix just released the old one. And it, I don't know, it was confusing and weird. This is it. Oh my God. Whoa. We got a Gonda, you guys. We're getting a lot of Trova Wonder Chess additionally. All right, how many do I have in storage just for kicks? 114. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. I'll add my own to the pile. I, I haven't bought any of these. These are literally just like, I, I've had them in storage because I slowly get them from uh, from my tomes and junk. There's our rocket. Oh my God. Wow. We'll at least be able to trigger karma one more time. Hopefully twice if we unbox enough. But, oh my God, the firebird. What? Ah. Come on, trigger karma. Do it one more time and give me Gonda for giveaway. I have noble intentions, you stupid video game. Let's just spend all of my flux on Trova Wonders right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry. These, these prizes are kind of bunk. We got a fortress out of it. Cool, but... No Gonda, nothing worth actually giving away. Anyways, I appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks, Kev, for throwing me the Trova Wonders. I can give you all the items back if you want. Otherwise, I'm going to be real. They're going to go into mass storage. So it's up to you. Oh, one and only is throwing me more Trova of Wonders? Uh-oh. I was just wrapping up. Why you do this to me? You don't want them. Yes. Me neither, honestly. <laughs> no, thanks, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep them and give them away later. What are you trying to do, Fox? What's happening? Oh, Fox is the wrong person. It was Milky. All right, what's going on? What are you doing? 
Dear Lord, are you sure? That's 12 mil right there. You sure about that, dude? And what do I do with them? Do you want the prizes? I'll, I'll put these other uh, items in storage just in case uh, so that they don't mix up. Whoops. But thanks very much, man. All right, uh, I gotta change the title of the video again. <laughs> How many was that? How many Trove of Wonder? Let's just say it was 2,000. I don't care. Because we're going to end up unboxing enough Trove of Wonders that it'll equal out to 2,000 anyway. But hey, thanks, man. Oh, just take them? Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, hopefully we end up getting a Gonda out of this. That would be very poggy-woggy. 1,904. Okay, then yeah, we've, we're have we gonna unbox 2,000 of them because uh, because of the ones that we keep getting. So, that's cool. I wanna be on Karma. There we go, just because. Come on, Gonda. Give it to me. I wanna give away a Gonda. Better yet, how about the game finally just be is nice to me and gives me like five Gonda in a row, like every other person that unboxes Trova Wonders gets. Like, come on, dude. Thank you for bankrolling me with Trova Wonders. <laughs> oh, hey, oh my God, it's the golden dragon, the one that's worth less than Fortress. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I should just delete it just for fun. Man, I still remember. That was one of my favorite streams with you guys was um, was when I was giving away stuff and uh, I was giving away like a fortress and nobody wanted it and I just scrapped it. I thought that was funny. Well, we ended up getting both of the dragons, so I think we've got everything out of these Trovo Wonders outside of uh, outside of Gonda, right? Lots and lots of rainbow wings. Blah. I know, I miss when Alburn was cool as well. Alburn was like around the time that PvP was like actually poggin. Like seriously. No, I know. Fortress is so cheap. Legit. Like, Alburn is already, like, cheaper. <laughs> and yet Fortress, exactly, like, 100k. Like, ridiculous. That's why, that's why, like, as much as I like giving these items away because they have sentimental value, because when Trova Wonders came out, it was a big deal, but... My god. I still remember when all of these items were super expensive. But then again, I'm also so old that Gonda was six mil at the time. That was a lot of flux though, because the only way that you could earn flux in old school Trove was uh, by grinding dungeons and loot collecting gear. That was the fastest method. <laughs> because I remember we were, uh, what was it? Like me and a bunch of the other guys, we were all grinding, I think U6 like crazy or something when Gonda came out because we saw one on the market for an affordable price. And um, and and it, I, everybody just helped me to buy it. And it was just so cool at the time. That was when I was poor, which I still am, but just at a higher power level. <laughs> I know, I know, Fortress used to be so expensive because Fortress was really useful back in the day as well as rare, but nowadays nobody wants it. Oh, there, speaking of which, there's another fort fart. Okay, come on, we need to get a Gonda out of this. I gotta give away a Gonda, come on. Oh, five mil for the Gonda, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because I think I already had like two mil or something. And then and then I obviously slowly but surely paid off uh, my buddies. But Alvin might be the only dragon with its own musical theme. Yes, it is. I remember when it used to uh, make the musical theme for everybody in the world. And then they changed it because people got annoyed. And suddenly nobody cared about Alburn anymore. He was hilarious because you could troll with him. Also, hi, Aragon. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, I still remember that potato. Because I, I was so pumped, and uh, I remember when I was in the Razor call with the boys, I just was saying Gonda over and over, and I just left and started recording it, because I was just so pumped. Now I'm like a jaded old man, and I just I don't care about anything in this video game anymore. <laughs> I'm literally sitting here like, oh, I don't care if I get Gonda, I'll just give it away, I, you know? I don't even want it. <laughs> like... Uh, in case no Gonda, just pretend dropping one because you have one in the chest. Oh, no, I don't have one in the chest. Uh, that was removed. No, I'm not. No, I'm saving that for another giveaway. Big brain, right? <laughs> this, uh, we got to get a Gonda out of this one for me to bother giving it away. These items, honestly, there's too many of them to give away. Like, I don't know. I could give them away, but... <laughs> Come on. We gotta get a Gonda out of this. I wonder, like, legit, do you guys know... Based on my other videos, how many Trova Wonders videos did I make? And how many Trova Wonders did I open after getting Gonda the first time? I'd be really curious to know, like, how long it's been since I got my last Gonda. I arguably haven't opened many Trove of Wonders since then. But. I know I've probably opened over 20 mils worth. As usual. What about Discord giveaways, Spooky? Can. Oh, like you need access from the bot? Is that what you're talking about? You should ask D about that. If he can resolve that for you then. Should just open the adventure boxes too. We're too far in. No, because content. <laughs> I got to drag it out, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These boxes are garbage. It's hot trash. Like this is a prime example to show you guys that these are still a beginner's trap. Oh, you can give stuff away in the in the Discord spooky if you got stuff. Like those items you put in the officer chest. Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah, I honestly, I've got too many items to give away. I'll never be able to give them all away. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I don't want to split the stream up because I don't want to be here all day, Spook, uh, Scythe. I, I want to do stuff. I need to edit. Ah, no Trova, no, no Gonda. Oh, well. Ripperoni. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Oh, guys. I think we just unboxed Gonda. I think I think we I think it just happened. Why is Fox still trading me? Get out of here. I I think we just unboxed Gonda. Oh my oh guys, look, we unboxed it. We can give away a Gonda. <laughs> Thanks, man. I, I don't know how you have so much flux that you just throw it to me, but I appreciate it. Alright, let me get uh let me get Nightbot set up. Sweet, thanks for bankrolling this video. Um, let me also put in the title too. Um, let me see, hold up, hold up. I gotta squeeze this in. Hold up, hold up, I know. There we go. Okay, um... Sorry, I still gotta sign into Nightbot here. So, we'll give it a little bit for notifications to go out, even though they should have already gone out, but YouTube sucks. Uh, basically, the way this is gonna work, guys, is obviously you have to be on PC. You can't be on... Uh, console. What the heck? Oh, there. And you just need to say something in chat. Talk about your favorite class or something. I don't know. You just got to say something so that the bot can see that you exist. And, uh, and then I'll end up rolling it out. Hey, KO. Thanks for the super chat, man. Appreciate it. How's it going? It's going good. You guys have uh, completely transformed this otherwise 
chill, cool hangout, but also kind of boring video game stream into something much better. My PS4 broke. Now I can't play it. Rip? Did you break it playing Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, we'll uh, give away the Gonda and then, hey, I mean, thanks, uh, thanks to your boy over here. <clears throat> oh, I want to also take a pick, uh, take a peek and see if the wings are happen to be on the market. They never are, but hey, Vish, yeah, I really want to see, uh, I really want to see the new John Wick as well. I can buy these wings. I just don't. Oh, there's new mastery wings. Weird. What? The kind of hydrophonics you can sell on a TV. Okay, cool. Give me Ghost of Tsushima 2 announcement, please. Oh, really, Potato? You might be able to fix it. Also, hey, Oni. I'm sorry I didn't say hello earlier. And hi to everybody else who uh, might be tuning in. Hey, one and only, thank you for the super chat, man. Appreciate it. Also, I did not know that uh, YouTube had a thumbs up emote. And a bigger question is, why is the thumbs up red? That's associated with negative. Like, why isn't it like green or blue? That's silly. No, I know that the wings are worth more than the player market can even like go up to for prices, but yeah. Anyways, let's see here. Uh, Nightbot, hello. All right, gamers, are you ready for this? So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna roll it out. Someone's gonna win. And then you gotta be in game and let me know what your in game name is so that I can end up giving you it. So good luck to everybody. But of course there can only be one winner. If it was up to me, I'd give you all Gonda, but. Scythe, but Scythe is on console. I'm gonna wait to double check even though I ask this every single time. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep forgetting Scythe, but I'm pretty sure he's on Xbox. So we might re-roll this. Yeah, he's on console. Okay, okay, sorry Scythe. Why does, Scythe wins like so much, dude. No moo, there you go, gamer. Hey, you've been, you've been to a lot of giveaways. It's about time you ended up winning something. So there you go. Not only did you win, you actually got the Gonda. And hey, you know what? You called it earlier. So I think Nightbot heard you. Congratulations, man. Get your butt over here. I think Nomu is your in-game name, right? But you can just double confirm it for me. Thanks again, one and only. Also, I didn't notice the other, uh, the other uh, super chat that you did as well. I appreciate them all very, very much. Means a lot. Helps put uh, my kids through college that we don't have yet, but we'll probably have kids this year. <clears throat> Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, get your butt over here, my dude. Yep, stream's gonna end as soon as we give this away. But uh, thank you guys for transforming this stream. I like to think Nightbot is a clicker from The Last of Us and it gets grunt, oh yes, exactly. Did you guys hear? Last of Us finally came to uh, PC and apparently they, they rushed it like crazy and it just is terrible. PC ports, man. Like, can they ever do it right? <laughs> so stupid. Nomu, where are you at, man? Um, Next stream, good question. Next stream will probably be tonight with more Resident Evil. Because I've got a lot of videos I have to edit, and I want to record and stock up on more uh, other videos. Uh, like I said before, I have the 45k series is finally complete. I have it all recorded. I just have to edit it. Uh, and then I'm starting a couple Roblox series for you guys and stuff. Uh, I'm not streaming Roblox. I'm recording it this time so I can make cuts. I think it'll make it more interesting for me. Um, I'm gonna talk about it all in more detail in a special uh, trove video where when I go on my trip, it kind of encapsulates everything that's planned with the channel, the games I plan on playing and stuff. You know how it is. Oh, there he is. All right. Oh, trade error. Aw, oh, man. I guess you don't want Gonda? All right, here you go, dude. Wait, where's Gonda? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, let me, um... Let's look. Oh, 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 crap, dude. My computer blue screened. Oh, 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 no. I have considered just stopping the stream and then logging on off camera and giving it away. <laughs> just because it would have made for a funnier video, but... Alright, anyways, for real, for real. Get your butt over here. Alright, uh... There you go, my dude. I'm not gonna drag it out this time like I did last time. Alright. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thanks for bankrolling this random chaos chest stream that got hijacked by Trova Wonder and a Gonda giveaway. Hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next time. The stream didn't freeze, I just froze.